All right, hey guys, um, back today going to install the fin molding. You can see these moldings here. I've got them, I just have them like sitting in there right now, so obviously they're not lined up yet. Um, but what I'm gonna do today is this, I don't know what you wanna call it, fin insert molding on the uh, uh, 57. You know, like I stated yesterday, this is a, this is actually a 150 car. It's not a 210 or a Bel Air, it's a, um, it's a 150. It was actually a business um, sedan, I think is what they called it. A utility sedan, I think. Anyway, it didn't come with a back seat at all. I've uh, been very interested because the car was originally black. Uh, not that you can tell from this stuff here because all of that is obviously stuff that I've done. But see, I'm building fr uh, seat frames now. Um, got some buddies at uh, Superior Upholstery in Fort Worth, Texas that are going to do the interior. But I'm doing the, uh, um, doing some seats uh, custom in here that's been mini tubbed. And so these tubs are kind of gaudy and kind of in the way, but um, at least it let me put a bigger wheel on. I've got a 10 inch wheel with no problems at all. Matter of fact, I think I'd get about two more inches under there if I wanted to, but uh, back to the subject at hand. Um, I'm going to do these, this fin molding today. I did the, la the other one last weekend and had a request that I video some of the do's and don'ts uh, on this fin molding. And so I, I don't know. This is my first one, so I don't know that I've got a whole lot of uh, pointers um, other than... Uh, to put that bottom piece on first. <laughs> Obviously, I learned that the hard way. But I don't want to put uh, the plumber's putty or the two-sided tape here, um, like a lot of the guys are saying that they've done. Um, I, well, I say that. I'm, I'm putting a real thin piece of two-sided tape kind of uh, just in different areas, you know, here and here and maybe, you know, just down the... the uh, the way just to kind of keep the piece floating so that it's not uh, real invasive on that paint um, and scratching it up really bad. I'm sure it's going to regardless uh, here in Texas getting the dust and dirt and, and everything down uh, in behind that molding. So there's not a whole lot you can do about that. I mean, it is what it is. Um, that that molding is going to get that stuff on there anyway. But I'd rather not use the plumber's putty just because it... Uh, I've heard goods and bads about it. So anyway, I'm, I'm just kind of setting it in here uh, in the top of this molding, which is, like I said, it's just it's just in there snug right now, maybe a little too snug in some areas. Um, so I'm going to loosen those back up uh, it, like right in here. It's already it's already pretty close to the body there. You can see um, loosen that up just a tad. Bring it uh, bring it out enough for me to set that in there. And, uh, and then I'll pick this video back up. All right, hey guys, I'm back. Uh, well, as you can see, I've, I've started to uh, tape this top molding off here uh, as to just kind of protect it from, uh, from that, that uh, insert piece when I put it on. I've got to back this off. Uh, still a little bit more, but I'll, I'll, one of the things I wanted to say was that I got a couple of these these clips that um, that I used on the side moldings. Uh, as you can see, there's a there's a larger one here, and then a bit of a smaller one here. Now uh, these these small clips worked perfectly for this top. Uh, molding here because it's real thin it's small and uh, and those are not going to uh, pop out these uh, you have to use on the uh, on this molding here um, the, the the larger clips uh, there's I think there's ten holes nine or ten holes total in this now the first six holes you can use these clips here don't use the pop-in clips, uh, and when I say pop-in, let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, these right here. Um, these clips, uh, they came in the kit that I bought new, and they're jicky. They, I mean, they'll work, but they do not suck that molding in to the body uh, the same as as one of these clips here. And so, yeah, I got I got several different uh, different styles here. I, 
I ordered, um, like I said, on eBay. It all comes from like Mike's Classic Parts or uh, Classic Chevy, which I believe is Eckler's, something like that. Um, but anyway, you can see the different clips that they say that you can use. So basically, I have used this clip, this clip, or I'm sorry, this clip, or this one, one of those two, and then the smaller, the smaller one. Um, I used one of these on the door, and what this is is like a, it's almost a, just a big washer, but it has a hole in it that's threaded that you can screw a little screw that comes with it. You can screw that into. But on the back of this fin molding, what I'm getting at is these these large clips. They have to be used because of the the the, the sheer width uh, of this molding. Uh, and so that that goes in. It slides in. Um, they're still kind of uh, kind of iffy. You, you, you sometimes need to bend these prongs out, bend them out so they've got a little more tension, a little more pressure. Uh, I did notice that if you do that too much, it will uh, it will make it actually pop out worse than it than it was before. So there's a happy medium there um, to do to get that in there. And so anyway, I wanted to 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 say that before I go on to the next step, which is loosening this molding up and dropping the uh, the insert down in there. All right, here's this uh, here's this molding. I wanted to show it to you guys bare before uh, before I drop it in. Uh, I've got the molding loosened up now, and I'm about to uh, about to put this bad boy on. It's got you know I did the like I said the uh, the tape every you know, every 12 or 13, 14 inches, something like that. Uh, and I'm sorry about the camera moving around so much. It's my first time to do this. So <laughs> uh, anyway, all right, I'm gonna drop it in real quick. All right, here we go. Uh, I put it in. You can see this this back piece here is laying pretty dang flat, pretty well. Um, with the body, it's uh, got a little bit of a strange gap there, um, but it's pretty close. It's going to come back just a tiny bit. You can see here. I've only got well on video. It looks like more. Uh, that chrome looks dirty on video too <laughs> but on video it looks like more but it's really maybe an eighth of an inch uh, but i think i'm so close uh with this phone that it that it looks like it's more than that it uh but really it's it's pretty close this piece here you know once it's once you press it down it's pretty even it's a little there's a little bit more of a gap at the top and that could be just i don't know the way it's made or uh, could have issues. Now you can see also that I've got a few holes that are playing a bit of peekaboo with me. And so I'm going to have to uh, loosen this up a little bit more down in here. You can see if you look really close right there, this thing has not dropped down in there the way that it should yet. Um, and so I've got a little bit of room for that to go down. Once it does, the uh, that, that fan molding that comes back right here will drop in. It's got a piece here, but then it's got two clips that hold it on. And then the uh, the top molding comes and slides in. Now, uh, guys, remember that on these moldings, if you do not massage them, and what I mean by that is uh, if you don't get something like, let me show you, for instance, I've got a... Uh, a golf cart tire see these golf cart tires that uh, that I took off and I used those as a roll a roller uh, for these moldings so that um, I could make them fit like a glove so basically what I mean is this molding once you put it up against the side after they've been restored or after you've had some you know if even if you buy repops or whatever if you try to put those on the car 99% of the time, from what I've read anyway, and everything that I've run into, these things are not going to fit the body right. And so it's a matter of massaging them to where there's no gap. You can see on mine, it is, I mean, it is freaking, I'm just holding it up here and it's right on the body line. That back there is sticking out a tiny bit, but that's because the, the insert, the fin is pushing it. Uh, pushing it out right now, but I worked with this this one molding alone probably 30 minutes, you know, maybe 45 minutes uh, Just to get it to mold to the body of the car same thing with 
with that one and with that one. Uh, these 57 fenders, a lot of times, if you look at the body, you can kind of see where it, they kind of poof out. They bulge out a little bit. Uh, and now keep in mind too, those those moldings are completely, they're, they're just sitting there. So I have not even begun to uh, to straighten them, you know, or, or tighten them down. Um, I'm very, very particular about those lining up and matching properly. But um, uh, anyway, I just wanted to make sure that everybody does that. So what happens is if you don't do what I just said, if you don't, I'm going to be real careful and set this down here on top of my car cover uh if you don't do what i just said if you do not massage those moldings you will have ripples all down the body where the where the molding is actually trying to pull the uh the metal out toward uh toward the molding and i hope that makes sense what i mean is the uh, uh you know those that molding is if it does not fit flush and your your fender is trying to meet it they pull toward each other and cause ripples in the body uh, itself and so as you can see on this side i've already finished um, this side and it's all zipped up and tightened down in 400 feet turn right onto uh, stone crest road I'm looking pretty good i gotta watch that molding i put on here a while ago but man if you look at that body side molding and that body there is very little if any ripple in that metal because i did that with the you know with the uh, with the molding i worked with them so long just to get them to fit now you still are always uh, not always i mean like i said this is my first one but you're you're gonna get a little bit of a of a gap here or there um maybe well and it, it, it's all relative as well it depends on who you're talking to uh, I am very particular and very picky about that kind of stuff. Some people would, some people would have looked at this car before I even took the moldings off and had them restored and said, "Oh man, what a beautiful car!" But, <laughs> but uh, I, uh, I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't live with the uh, the ripples. So, um, what I want to show you though is there are a couple of spots on this bottom quarter panel where I've got the ripple going on. Um, even with the, uh, the work, there you go. See, see it right in there on the red. If you look, see the little painting on the garage door over there. If you look at that painting through this, you'll see that ripple right about there. Anyway, that's what you get if you don't work these moldings well, um, and massage them out to make, they make them fit the body well. So anyway. Another break. <laughs> <laughs>